Evictions are the last resort for landlords, and they want to make sure that renters know that assistance is still out there. That's right. All new at 10. 2 News Oklahoma's Tony Russell finds properties all across Tulsa are working to keep their residents in their homes as we enter the holiday season. An eviction is the biggest fear for tenants struggling to pay rent each month during the pandemic. The bottom line is that eviction is a last resort. It's never the first step in a process. And it's really important for residents to communicate with their um, property managers, their rental housing providers, to let them know if they're going to have an issue paying rent. Property management companies in Tulsa braced for the pandemic and the potential for residents needing help. We really have um, been trying to provide all of the resources we possibly can to them. With the availability of rental assistance, that really helps sustain our industry and keep people in their homes and keep the apartment communities operating. That was a very crucial part. Carrie Cooper with the Tulsa Apartment Association says it costs roughly $2,300 for a landlord to evict someone. It's in the best interest of everyone to keep people in their homes. Kelsey McGuire is with Winfield Property Management. It has 27 properties in the Tulsa area alone. I think there's this um, idea that landlords want to evict their residents, that we've been waiting for this eviction moratorium to lift so we can kick everybody out and start over. And that is not what we want at all. An eviction is not good for anyone. It's not good for the renter and it's not good for the landlord. And the association tells me the majority of those eviction notices that get filed really never get executed. I'm told if you do need assistance, your first step is to your property manager. And if you're interested in any of that assistance in those programs, we have a couple of events that are being scheduled that are coming up in the next couple of days. Check to see inside this story at KGRH.com. In Tulsa, Tony Russell, 2 News, Oklahoma.